Okay, in this video, I want to go over the the data that we're going that, that we're going to be using over the next uh, three weeks, where we're learning the Power Tools when we learn Power Query and Power Pivot. So I want to go over these, and the data comes from a Food Mart database. This has been around, you'll see the dates on this are in the 90s. So this data set has been around, publicly available for a long time, and that's what we're going to use. And so where the data is, where you need to download it, is that under week two, all of these uh, are CSV files. So we're going to focus on pulling data primarily from CSV files, which are comma separated, variable files, I think is what that means. Um, they're, they're really text only, they're, they're very uh, small data sets, and that's what we're going to use. So you need to download all these and put them somewhere. I would put them all in the same location, the same folder, and uh, we'll, uh, this is what we're going to be using. So I'm going to just sh work through and show you what these are. And really there's a couple of types of files. There's one that actually is the physical transactions. It's the it's the purchasing that's happening, and and it's the largest data set, and it points to customer IDs, product IDs, and store IDs. So that first one is called Food Mart Transactions 1997. Food Mart Transactions, excuse me, and. You can see it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it has purchases. So you can see on January 1st, 1997, this customer, let me blow these up. This customer purchased this item at this store and they bought five of them. And that's it. It doesn't tell us any information about what type of product that is who the customer is, which store, all we've got are some identifiers. But you can see we have multiple purchases every day. So on the first day, which makes sense, we've got a lot of purchases. These could be physically, this could be online. Um, you can see that there are, what is that, about 117 purchases on that day. So what we want to be able to do is eventually pull information about this. So here's product ID. And by the way, this is a large data file. It's 86,000 rows. It is actually not that large, uh, but for what I'm used to working with or what um, at least teaching with, it's, it's, fairly, uh, it's fairly large, 86,000 rows. So um, that's one of the files. Let's go look up a product ID file. And within the data sets that we have, we have something called product lookup CSV file. So let's go look at that. And it gives us a, more information. So we've got, first of all, over in the first column, we have a product ID. And we have about 1,500 products, 1,560 unique products. So this product ID is the same number, the same ID as this product ID. So I want to be able, when I purchase eight, item 869, I want to be able to go down here to 869. and realize, oh, it's this uh, product. I don't know what this is, this item. I think that's probably a SKU. The retail price, the cost, the product weight, all kinds of other flag variables on if it's recyclable, um, the brand. So all of this information we can grab once we know what the product ID is. And you can see for this to work, I only, for this lookup table, this product ID one, there better not be another one in here. This is unique. It can show up here many times. I might sell a whole bunch of ones, but over in my lookup file, that has to show up as exactly one. So back to my, I'm gonna close that one out. 
Same thing for customers and stores. So let's look at the customer. Same thing, we have a customer ID, a unique ID, just like your student ID. And it gives us some information, their names, their address, where they live. Do they have children? Their educational levels? Think about this. This is, this is the beginnings of the concept of big data. We've got a lot of information. Again, this is not as large as our transaction, but we've got about 10,000 different customers in our database. So we've got 10,000 customers who buy from us. There's a total in that year of 80-something thousand transactions. We have 1,500 products. And finally, we've got a store. We've got stores. Now, this isn't very small, large. We only got 24 stores. But there you go. So this information gives me everything. Once I know the store ID, I can pull everything about the state, uh, how large it is. All of this type of information, we can start doing analysis on this. The trick is that we've got to take all these and put them in Excel in a way that we can start pulling information from them. So that's what we'll start with Power Query is we're going to start loading this information in a meaningful and a structured way so that when we start wanting to answer questions, we can do that. Okay, thanks.